Hi, you're watching Muggle Mama. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Hey y'all and happy Monday. I hope you're having a great day. I hope you had a great season opening weekend. I am having a Monday. I have already done this video once. I get to do it again because I forgot to turn on my mic again. It's been a while. I'm a little rusty. We were on vacation last week, so I'm going to use that excuse and I'm going to stick to it. That being said, we did stream over the weekend, so we're going to be taking tonight and tomorrow off of Twitch. We're going to be just kind of relaxing, getting our weekend in finally. So we'll be back Wednesday evening, Thursday evening, and a Friday day stream. Um, I'll put that schedule below just so you can see it in writing. And without any further ado, let's get on to Challenge Rift 198. So here we have six minutes and 24 seconds to complete it. As I mentioned, I've already done this video with my mic off, so I get to do it again. So I'm gonna be racing against my own time for this one. Um, and since I've already done it once, I'm actually gonna go ahead and try and run it a different way that I think might run a little bit better. But I typically do these videos as a blind run through so that you guys can see how I work through them. And that way you're not just watching a video of someone going, hey, do this, this, and this. That's gonna be kind of what it is. But at the same time, hopefully this helps you a little bit because I definitely struggled with this challenge rip. It was not super easy this week. It was not as intuitive as I thought it was gonna be. So, Let's go ahead, um, let me open up the gear. We are dealing with Pestilence, so you're supposed to be getting damage from Bone Spear. There's not a whole lot there. I'll help you work through that. We do have some gems. We have 461 Paragon. Everything looks okay. It's not the, you know, it's not a terrible build. It's just not a great run. Um, I went ahead and moved my skills around. If you haven't done this on a PC, all you got to do is open the skills and drag and drop on your bar. For the most part, what I ended up doing was using Leech and Corpse Explosion. And those were like my main two buttons that I kept hitting. There's no movement skill. So if you get stuck, you're kind of just stuck. And there is a proc on your follower, which is obviously helpful. But there's not a proc on the actual build. So you don't have the double proc anymore. They went, I think they were trying to go balls to the wall damage, but again, there wasn't a ton of damage built into this. So starting floor one, the first thing I did here was I used leech to try and get these things away from me and got my skeletons out. And once you get one corpse, all you need is one. Keep using that, explode those corpses and hopefully you can just keep moving with it as you can see here we got some blues here stay away from the explosions so this over here whoop, explosion ah, corpse explosions come on the hardest thing for this really in my opinion was just keeping the corpse explosions up. We get a nice channeling pylon, which is nice. So this is definitely a uh, starting build, I would say. I gotta believe they used mostly the corpse explosion to do their damage. This is a GR44. Uh oh, there we go. All right. Get some corpses here. There we go. And we're back on the corpse train. So, just a reminder since I have already run this, I'll be competing against my own time. I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal this second time through. Um, just because when I first started this, it was very difficult trying to figure out how to get started. I died a lot in the beginning. So don't feel bad if uh, that is happening to you. 
Like I said, if you're if you feel stuck, use that leech that'll help group the things away from you. And now we have a speed. So I'm going to do things a little differently this time though, and I'm not going to grab that speed right away. We have some elites down here that I want to try and get down without the speed. We have another elite down in this corner. Like I said, I've already done this, so. Uh -huh. Come on. So that leech helps, as you can see. Um, I was able to use the leech to gather everything and I was able to get one of the little minions down with the bone spear. I'm gonna take the speed and we're gonna run. We've got a fair amount of time here. This floor appeared to be good when you first started. We've got a double pack right here at the door. So we got a speed. I'm gonna take this power. And we're going to explode these yellow, these two yellows that were at the door. And we're going to go check out this corner. Now, there, as you can see, are barely any mobs here. There's not much to work with. We do have some blues. So, but what you kind of want to set yourself up for is when you get the guardian is to have some corpse explosions so that you don't have to try and bone spear your way through it because he was not fun to get down. All right. So leech, bone spear, and explosions. So I have explosions here. I have some back up in the corner. Let me get my simulacrums there. Okay. Corpse explosions. Come on. All right, so here we go with just the bone spears. He's not going to follow me up, is he? Oh, yeah, he's following me. Here we go. We're going to try and get him to come up further. Come on, dude. And more explosions. Oh, we've got some things to kill now. But those things don't show up until you're halfway through killing them. So... Once you get those, it's not too bad to get it down, but you're definitely going to want to make sure you're not clearing out all of your corpse explosions so that you can use them to your advantage. And he will follow you as you see. He'll teleport and follow you if you know you have more corpse explosions left on the ground somewhere. So hopefully that helps you guys out. I just realized I never showed you the maps. So floor one here, we have a channeling pylon, a shield pylon, and a speed pylon. Again, I saved that speed until I was ready to go in the door. There were two elites here. So I do recommend trying to get those down without the speed. Um, and then your floor two here had the power pylon. So you had some decent pylons here uh, to help you out. So this is totally doable, guys. Um, just let me know if you do have any questions and I will try to answer them below. I hope you have a good week. If we don't see you on Twitch this week, then I will see you next Monday for the next challenge draft. Bye.